The Mount Moon Review podcast, while a podcast about Pokemon, is not intended for children. You can expect some instances of adult humor, coarse language, and adult situations. Parental discretion is advised. everyone and welcome to episode 30 of the Mount Moon Review Podcast, where we go to the Pokemon Bank before we go to the Pokemon Home. I am your host, the Razgrease, with my co-host, the Blue Duck Gold Duck, bringing you everything you need to know about the world of Pokemon that's happened in the last week in about an hour. And for those of you that are joining us live on our Facebook stream... I do apologize for all the technical issues we were having. Uh, we have a new uh, capture method for our videos, and we just had a whole lot of bad things happen all at once. We think we got it fixed, and here we are. So, Duck, how the heck you been this week, man? Good. Much, much better than last week. Well, what, what was so good about it? There was news. There was news. But what about... <laughs> no, I'm not worried about Pokemon. I'm worried about Duck. What is duck done this week did you watch the um, big hand egg game yeah <laughs> did, did the team that you well, I watched for... I, I left that third quarter i didn't root for either team <laughs> yeah i um it, it, it's in in past years because i have not had cable in probably about 10 years now and i've done somewhat clandestine methods to watch the uh the big hand egg game <laughs> Uh, but this this year, uh, Fox actually was broadcasting on their website, free of charge. I was kind of shocked by it. Oh, awesome. So you watched? Uh, I got. A, I think I got through the first quarter and said, to heck with this. <laughs> I'm, not a, <laughs> I'm not a football guy. I just have never been. Uh, but that's all anybody could talk about at work today was the big hand egg game. So I, it is what it is. <laughs> um, but I'll tell you this, this. Over the weekend, I found myself in Oklahoma City. And they have uh, a Lunar New Year celebration. Oh, since we didn't get to go the one earlier in the week, and it's not just one day; it's over. It's over about a week. Um, saw Slater, um, international recording artist out of Beijing, and then we uh, went, found a Japanese barbecue place. It's a place where you have kind of like the little grill into the table, and they oh just, cool. They uh, you just you order the the raw meat a la carte. They bring it out to you. Yeah, you, and you then you it put up. it on and flip it. Yeah, on the, you like... cook you cook it up yourself. Um, yeah, I've seen that in shows. My my youngest had like this ginormous bowl of ramen while I sat there with my beef tongue and everything else. It was great. I, I'm definitely looking forward to finding one of those again. But I'd be damned if I'm driving back to Oklahoma City for that. That was <laughs> such a long drive. <laughs> so, I mean, other than hand egg, did you do anything else this week? Um, I played my first session of D and D. You did. That being said, should we make an announcement about that? Uh, if, if you want, I yeah. <laughs> um, not maybe not so much with D and D, but there is a two new shows being added to our uh, illustrious network with the Mount Moon crew, and we're gonna have big announcements coming up with that in the in the coming week or so. So you're gonna want to be a part of our Discord. And you're going to be finding links for that in the descriptions of these videos. Uh, make sure you're on there. There's going to be some huge announcements coming out, uh, some additional programming. And we're well on our way to becoming a bona fide network, Duck. A network. Yeah, the, mount, the, the moon network. The moon network. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so uh, that, that's not what everyone came to hear about. They all came to hear about the world of Pokemon. What do you got for us this week, Duck? All right. So, uh... We're, we're going to start with video game. As per usual. And, yep. And for the time being, from now until February 16th, Milkery is promoted in raids, and that's the Pokemon that evolves into Alchemy. The delicious Pokemon. Yes. And um, the raid, the bonus for these raids, like remember when they did a, the Deli Bird, you had a chance to get uh, extra large XP candies? Yeah. Or, you know, the magic card gives like nuggets and stuff. Now you have a chance to get straight up rare candies. 
just straight up rare candies. That's awesome. Yeah, but you, I think you're guaranteed so many rare candies per, you know, per raid you do, and you're also, uh, you know, you know that number can also increase. Yeah, and then you also get the um, the sweet items like the strawberry sweet or the ribbon sweet, and those are the items you have to use to evolve it to its different forms. Yeah. Now, in in your Pokedex, you if you're just trying to get a complete decks, you only need the one. But right. it, it will show everything else. So for, for true completionists, you're going to need to go out there and get all the food items to do all the, the weird evolutions. And you got to do your little spinny rooney. And <laughs> and two of, the, two of the items weren't available before this event. Oh, I didn't realize that. Cause I, I was not gonna, about trying to get all those put together. So I didn't even realize that some of the items weren't available. That's great. I think I saw somewhere that there's 67 forms. What? 67 forms that is insane that, that I mean, that's that's more than unknown yeah i don't i like i guess it's because the different color with each of the 18 different uh forms yeah i'm not gonna be doing that <laughs> there is no way i'm doing that <laughs> 63 forms 63 forms of it. Wow. Yep. So the first one that gets that, please feel free to let us know. And, um, and the, you'll get a nice, firm high five. It's the ribbon suite and the star suite that weren't available f before this event. So if you get those, you know that, like, you know, maybe just do the raids until you get those. Yeah. If you're Because the, the rest you can get. It's just those particular ones right. are, are new now. And then this, the milkeries you get from this raid have a chance of being able to Gigantamax after they evolve to Alchemy. Oh, so you won't even know until they evolve. That's different. I think I think when you catch it, you can tell. Um, it'll have the red X like the Charmander you get from Leon has. Oh, that's cool. Now, in in past games, rare candies have been like the the epitome. These things are great. You know, you can you can level up really fast. They're not really as important in Sword and Shield, but still are great to have when you get to those higher levels and you just need to upgrade for a move or just to yeah, get close to the end. It's just a convenience factor. Yeah, that's really all it comes down to at this point. But I'll uh, I'll take them. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'll no, take definitely. them. <laughs> I love the fact that I can take a Pokemon from level 0 to level 100 in two seconds. Or from level 1 to level 100 in two seconds. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, yeah, I'm not going to... Uh, with the power leveling methods we have now, uh, providing that we don't end up getting ourselves banned because um pokemon is trying to crack down on people using exploits um it seemed like for a while there that there was like kind of like a soft ban going into effect but uh, i think that was just a glitch because i haven't seen much more chatter about it so hopefully that was just a glitch because every one of us was using those exploits <laughs> right so okay what else you got uh, we finally got the Pokemon Home release date, which I didn't put on the outline. But we we did get the announcement for Pokemon Home, which is, for those of us that are been users of Pokemon Bank, it's the exact same thing. It really is. It's it looks identical to Pokemon Bank. Well, it's it's not the exact same thing. There's like a lot of added features now right. that you didn't have on Pokemon Bank. So let's talk about all those added features. What do we have that's the difference between Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Home? Now, actually, let's just let's talk about what Pokemon Bank was first. Um, some of the older games, you had a game called a, a, an app called Pokemon Transporter. Pokemon Transporter right. allowed you to take uh, Pokemon from one cartridge to another. Uh, uh, next in line in the evolution, then with Pokemon Bank, you still had to use Transporter for some of the older games. And with Pokemon Bank, it was simply just a storage system. That was it and the story. Uh, and you, it was, I believe, $5 a year or five ninety nine dollars a year. Yeah. And uh, you got uh, to store your Pokemon. And if, if you got really creative, you could get just about every single Pokemon from Red and Blue forward. But it, it took a lot of ingenuity. <laughs> it took a lot of cables. It took a lot of different uh, hardware. And it, it, it was definitely a, a, a task. Um, with Pokemon Home, it looks like we're not going to be able to get everything into Pokemon Home. 
uh, and some things are definitely not going to go into Sword and Shield. Uh, some things are, some things aren't. But once they go to Sword and Shield, they can't go backwards anymore. They can go back to home. They can go back once to home. Once they're at home, they can't go to anything but Sword and Shield. Yeah. And things from Sword and Shield can go back and forth to home. But they can't then go out of home to anything else. Right. So there is a way to get pretty much everything into home. Because you can get it, you can transfer Pokemon right from bank to home. Yes, uh, that is going to be a, a thing. Um, Pokemon Home is, if you haven't had Pokemon Bank, they are going to give you, I believe, uh, a month of free Pokemon Bank to get yep. your uh, all your like DS uh, games and everything into bank, and then use them from bank to transfer them to home. So if you uh, are, are have that have never done Pokemon Bank and you have some stuff on old cartridges, they do they are giving you a method to getting them into Pokemon Home and into your newer games. Right, yeah, so that's that's from your 3DS. So if you're on your 3DS, you can download the Pokemon Bank app from the App Store and, po- and on the 3DS and transfer all your Pokemon from the 3DS games into the bank, and then you can go from bank to Pokemon Home, which is going to be an app on your phone or on your Switch, and then you can transfer them from Pokemon Home to Sword and Shield. And it's also going to connect to Pokemon Go, but not right at the start. So, yeah, it's going to connect to Pokemon Go. It's going to connect to Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. Uh, there's even some of the little handheld uh, games that are it's going to connect to in a roundabout way eventually. Uh, if you know what you're doing and know how to get there. Um, the big thing that people are going to, are going to run into with the Pokemon Home is there is a yearly fee attached to it. Um, essentially, what what was the price point they end up coming up with, Duck? I don't have it in front of me. So for the premium plan, there is a free plan, but for the premium plan, it's three dollars a month or sixteen dollars a year. Yeah. So the the free plan. Let's go over the free plan. What do you get with the free plan? So there's no annual fees. <laughs> you can store up to thirty Pokemon on the app. Um, you can use the GTS system for one Pokemon. Well, that's another announcement. They're bringing GTS back, but it's not in Sword and Shield. It's in the app, and GTS stands for Global Trading System. That's how you could trade online on the uh, 3DS, where you could be like, I have a Caterpie, I want a Landorus, and then see if anybody has a Landorus and wants to trade for your Caterpie. Good luck, but possible. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Wonder Box, which works as Wonder Trade, you can put one Pokemon in the Wonder Box, and then you can participate in trade rooms. Basically, trade rooms are like if you're in a group of people of like, I think they set up to 20 people can be in a trade room, and then they just basically all Wonder Trade just between the 20 of them. No one's going to do that. Probably not. That's going to be one of those features that. <laughs> it, it sounds great on paper, but no one's going to use it. So, or well, maybe you can do it with just two people, and then that's the that's your way of trading. That's the way you can trade. Trade in mass, maybe I don't know. Right. Uh, but it, it looks like the way they're they're trying to push things is you're still going to have a method to trade it within the game, but they're really going to push hard for people to use this app to do their 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 storage, their sorting, their. Uh, they're trading, and I'm really, really hoping, since this is going to be a, a smartphone app first and foremost, uh, it seems like there's going to be the more more features are going to be on that app than they're actually going to be on the console. That this is what I want. I want to be able to just move the bloody things with a touch screen because <laughs> it is yeah. <laughs> it is so hard in Pokemon Bank to uh, sort, and I don't I don't like it. I wish you could sort by by number, by Dex number, or something. Uh, just like an automatic sort, boom, done, and it's they don't have that, uh, so it's a bit of a pain in the butt. I'm really hoping with the the apps being on the smartphones and with the touch screens that we have that ability. That's my big hope and wish. Uh, we'll see if it happens. Well, if they do a sort thing like that, I would want to be able to lock certain boxes. Yes. So like I can have my box of like competitive Pokemon, and then all the Pokemon that I just caught for the living decks just be like sort, and then put them all in alpha or dex <laughs> order. That'd be great. Yeah, that would be but absolutely I, great. I don't want that button is useless to me if they don't if they don't let me lock certain boxes that I don't want. Yeah, keep, I want my competitive ones at the end in a box. Exactly. Leave them alone. Exactly. Don't touch them. <laughs> I want my six IV stuff. Be, just be uh, elitist. <laughs> so what's so what is it? What are you gonna get with the Pokemon Home Premium accounts? 
if you have the premium account, like I said earlier, it's three dollars a month or sixteen dollars a year. You can store up to six thousand Pokemon instead of the thirty. What in the world are you gonna do with six thousand Pokemon, Duck? You will never have to hatch the eggs to get them out of your box. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can deal with that because there's yeah. <laughs> I, I've had problems where like okay I don't even remember what this egg is I gotta get it out of here and you have to hatch it mm-hmm. so. uh, you can store um, three Pokemon on the GTS at one time mm-hmm. which is a feature we've never had before and you can store up to ten Pokemon in the Wonder Box which means you can put ten Pokemon you don't care about you don't want anymore you can put them in the Wonder Box and get up to ten Dreepies at once from Wonder Trade. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I mean, bring on the Dreepies. You're going to get Dreepies a lot faster than you do if you're just on the on Sword or Shield in the game. Well, and also it's going to help you get rid of your your bulk stuff a little bit faster too, hopefully. Um, right. So. No, I mean that it it is convenient. I was just joking about the Dreepies cuz that's what the, you know, you usually get. Yeah, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can host room trades. So I don't. They haven't really uh, put out a bunch of details like that. But yeah, you can. Outstanding. So um, that probably means you can start a room trade. You probably can't start a room trade if you don't pay. I would if imagine you don't have the not. premium plan. I would imagine. And then that. there's also an a IV checker thrown in there. Yeah, IV check. Uh, just like the judge. Um, judge. What's what's what I'm looking for? Feature. Uh, on yeah. Sword and Shield, they're instead of having to go through and beat Leon and whatnot, uh, this is actually going to be part of the premium. Uh, here's the whole thing: everyone's complaining about the the price point. It's sixteen dollars a year, folks. I don't have any any problem. With I, this I don't. Price point. I don't. Um, and the thing is, there's going to be more features added over time. And the fact I even, that, I've even heard talk about mini games. Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, Chow Garden's coming, man. <laughs> oh my gosh! Please. <laughs> Remember, I was telling you back when they first announced Pokemon Home and Pokemon <laughs> Sleep, uh, I yeah. was talking about there's gonna be a Chow Garden. That's what it is. I, I'm still calling it. Um, Let me pick up my Charmander and make him look like me. But here's the thing: I sat in a meeting this morning, uh, and it was a meeting I, I had no interest in. I had no nothing to even share. You know, it was no pointless to me being there. But I still had to be there. Uh, I have two phones. I have my personal cell phone. I have my work cell phone. They both look the same, so it looks like I'm working. If I pull out my phone now, I was on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I was commissioning some new artwork, <laughs> but I could have been playing Pokemon home and uh, that's worth $16 a year to me. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's games out there. I buy all the time for my switch that are $20 and I, you know, I get, you know, 20, 30 hours worth of enjoyment out of them. And I'm happy for that. That's, 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 you know, you're getting your 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 money's worth. Uh, I think with sixteen dollars a year, just having the fact that I can uh, be somewhere and you know, Duck says, "Hey, I'm at a, I'm at a VGC. I need, you know, I need I need a Charizard. Can you? Yeah, here, done. I don't have to have the switch with me to do it. That's a plus. Um, and I don't I can you know run into somebody. And, and how many times have you met someone and found out? Oh, yo, you're into Pokemon too. Yeah, well, I'm looking for this. Hey, I have two of those. And you can do it right from your phone. You don't need to be carrying a switch around with you. Dude. What? You completed your decks? I only need this to complete my decks. Here oh, you well. go. Here you go, good buddy. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> there better be a switch, like yeah. a big flip thing on there or something. But, yeah, no, yeah I'm, I'm $16 is nothing to me uh, for this, for what you're getting. Um, and the fact that they have a free model to begin with is something that we can really appreciate. Yeah, I mean, you're, it's not going to prevent you from still utilizing it. You're just not going to have the the, li- the 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 ongoing living decks. You're not going to have a, a lot of the, the the features, but you can still do everything that I can do paying for it. You're just going to oh, do it and if if anybody's wondering, the national decks will be on there. You won't be able to send Pokemon that aren't in Sword and Shield to Sword and Shield. Like, um, you won't be able to send a. Rattata in the Sword and Shield because currently it's not in Sword and Shield. But if it if it is programmed or added through any updates, then you can. Then you will be able to send it to Sword and Shield. But on the app, you can have every single Pokemon that exists. Oh, there you go then. On Pokemon Home. Yeah. I don't know if people were wondering about that or not. 
So I figured I'd clarify now. No, I did see that the uh, the entire uh, National Dex is going to be represented on Pokemon Home, which is great. Uh, you can stop your hashtag campaigns. They got your National Dex back. <laughs> well, I mean, people are still probably going to be upset that they're not in Sword and Shield. Oh, well, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's... it's you're, you're getting as close as we're going to get for the time being. So be happy with what you got. At least, at least, you know, somebody whose favorite Pokemon is Rattata can still keep their favorite partner Rattata going forward. <laughs> I know I'm looking forward to having my Metapod. <laughs> oh man, I released all my, all my Pokemon that weren't in Sword and Shield when they took away the national decks. Well, then you're a fool, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you have anything else about Pokemon Home? That's it for now. Um, I double-checked. There was There is not a release date yet. Uh, no, we're actually, from what I understand, it still just says middle yeah. of the month. So here, here's hoping. So, all right, well, moving on from Pokemon Home, what do you got next on the agenda tonight, Duck? Uh, next is... Uh... An announcement Pokemon made about February 27th, which is, which is actually Pokemon Day. We talked about uh, the 27th last week when we talked about the day the Mewtwo movie was going to get added to uh, Netflix. The Netflix. The Mewtwo and strikes didn't back even, evolution. It didn't even click. Mewtwo it didn't even click that that's Pokemon Day. It is Pokemon Day, folks. Happy Pokemon Mewtwo Day. Mewtwo <laughs> re returns and then strikes back and then he evolves. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> So, uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolutions is going to be on Netflix February 27th. Uh, for yep. those of you that are not aware of what this movie is, uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back is the first Pokemon movie. Uh, it's been re redone with CGI, um, 3D modeling, and as opposed to the old artwork. I, I don't know if it's the original soundtrack and voices or if they redubbed everything. It, it sounds like the original, but I can't be sure because all we're seeing is a trailer. Right. But... Uh, so Pokemon Day. What else we got going on on Pokemon Day? Uh, there's going to be a special event where they release a new mythical Pokemon. New and it's going to be distributed that day somehow. Whether it's like an update, you download an update and you get it in a raid, or you got to go to GameStop and get some codes. Whatever it is, I don't, I don't know. But I can imagine it's going to be something like the Slowpoke, the, the Galarian Slowpoke they added. Yeah, where it's just going to be... Uh an update a small update that uh activates the encounter somewhere in the game probably right. but i mean it, it could be not, anything this is not going to be urshifu or uh oh man corferex that weird rabbit thing it's not going to be one of those this is going to be a pokemon we haven't seen yet yep they're uh they're, they're talking about brand new mythical now one thing we didn't mention with pokemon home is it almost they haven't come out and said this um, it almost seems like Pokemon Home might um, signal the end of Pokemon Pass, which was the app that they used to replace the uh, the, the, the 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 code cards they would give out at Target, right. GameStop, at Best Buy. Uh, it looks and the Pokemon Pass was supposed to get rid of that, so that they could just have like a, a kiosk where there was a geofence set up around that area. You had to have your GPS enabled, and then you took a picture of a QR code, and boom, done it. Uh, it seems like Pokemon, they haven't come out and said it yet, but Pokemon Home is going to probably have that capability uh, from some of the stuff they've been saying. Uh, it, it sounds like that's what they're alluding to, and it sounds like that might signal the end and the, the sun sets on Pokemon Pass. So that might also be the method they go with, because they haven't set a date yet, so they might just all of a sudden say, oh, by the way, Pokemon Home, here you go. They might. How cool would it be if... Uh... You just have to go to the store and hit collect Pokemon, and then it's in your app, and then you can just send it to the game. Like that'd be really that'd be a lot better than oh QR code, type in the sixteen digits or whatever it is. You know, it, I don't know anybody who likes QR codes. I really don't. Uh, QR codes were a great idea um, <laughs> when the technology for what. For flip phones was a thing. Flip phones are gone, folks. QR codes are also should be have went with them. There's nothing left for a QR <laughs> code. Nobody uses them. That's it. I I have I have never scanned a QR code for anything outside of the Pokemon um, 
little uh, rewards cards you get for using PTCGO that are in packs. Yeah, these goofy things. This is the only time I've ever used a QR code. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'd be perfectly content if they just geofenced it so that you could walk into, say, your local video game store. It's probably going out of business. Uh, and, and just hit a button and boom, you got it. That would be outstanding. I'm, I'd be all for that. Uh, whether they do it or not, I don't know. It would be cool, though. Yeah. Okay, Duck. I don't. I cannot see your, your agenda because my computer is not cooperating. So you're gonna have okay. to you're gonna have to guide us down the path of the outline. Next is uh, Pokemon Go. Ooh, what do we got for Pokemon Go? I actually had a buddy at my house playing Pokemon Go this weekend, and uh, he told me they updated the PvP features. I didn't know this before, but to battle another trainer, you had to be like friends with them, and like a certain level of friendship before you could battle them. I believe you had to be best friends. Yeah, that's weird. All right, and so I guess they just had a like a mode they could do for the tournaments and stuff when they had them, like live competitions. Yeah. Okay. Well, apparently now it's a little bit easier. I was just reading about it. Um, you, if you walk five kilometers, you can get five battles unlocked. You can unlock five battles to do with other other players. But th then you're running the whole. Th this, th okay, th this is again them trying to force you to turn Adventure Sync back on. <laughs> is that <laughs> they're still doing that? They're... I'm not doing it, Pokemon. Oh, Look at man. me. Look at my eyes. I am not turning that Adventure Sync back on. There is no way in hell because I have be damned if you're going to track my every single movement. It was fine when it just talked to my my health app and got my steps but when you started this nonsense where you had to use the gps instead of the app instead of the health app i turned it off and i will never turn it on again because you are not you are not going to play google skynet nonsense on me <laughs> and also the fact that anytime it's using that gps i don't know about your phone but on my phone it just absolutely obliterates the battery and you, your little free mobile game is not worth it to me Eventually, they're going to send a Turtonator after us. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, no, you're, you, you finish this by yourself. I'm done. Go. Goodness, man. Okay, so in Pokemon Masters news, uh, they added Zinnia and Rayquaza um, to a new event. So if you, <laughs> if you battle, um, you can do the event in the app just like you did for uh, Mewtwo or Solga Solgaleo. And unlock them and use them as a sync pair. Now I did. I was told by somebody, um, a friend of mine that I know, that they didn't realize. Are you really gone? <laughs> did you get up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go on. Well, I was uh, talking to our friend Verge, the friend of the podcast, and he told me that he didn't realize that for the legendary. Pokemon pairs that you actually unlock while you're in the event you unlock the items you need to level them up so the generic ones that you grind for when there's not an event going they won't work to raise the level cap on the legendary Pokemon so you have to don't just stop when you unlock Rayquaza you gotta keep doing the event over and over again until you get the required materials to raise Rayquaza's level cap up to level 100 that's dirty yeah so anybody that didn't realize that <laughs> I didn't. I didn't realize that until I went to increase the level cap. I was like, "Oh, it says I need these items." Back to the grind. Oh. Unfortunately, I didn't get Mewtwo until the last day, so I continued to grind for the those materials. And uh, so his max level cap is level eighty-five because that's all I could get it to. Oh my gosh! Um, but they <laughs> had they significantly decreased. The level, the the requirements to unlock Solgaleo. I haven't seen Zinnia and Rayquaza yet, but hopefully it's smaller like Solgaleo was. Huh. And I, then you can yeah. use the rest of the event to get it. it. It seems like that game is becoming more and more of a grind. Yeah, and I actually think that it, like if they're going to do events back to back to back, like the Mewtwo event to the Solgaleo to the Rayquaza event, plus like the Christmas stuff, I think it's actually worth making it. If you if you have fun with it, it's it's not so little content that it's not fun to play anymore. It's, I don't have time to invest in the, in this right now, 
But if I did, if I was looking for something, this would be the game I played. Yeah. Uh, well, the fact that it's it's on your phone, it's everywhere you go. Yeah. Uh, you can pull it out at any time and just play. Well, it that's an, that's another thing. My normal phone, it doesn't work, so I have to have like a you know a phone that I only use for Pokemon Masters on me at all times if I want to play it outside. And then that phone doesn't have a data plan. So I can basically only play at home, and I I, don't, I really don't have the time to play any games currently. Uh, I feel you. <laughs> uh, I I really do. Uh, it, you know, it was fu- I sat down and on my stream over on Twitch uh, over the weekend, I was like, I'm gonna stream today. I'm gonna get a couple hours in. I got like an hour and a half in. I was I was really cooking along. I had a great community going on there. I was doing a lot of you know interactions, and my internet died for better part of an hour. Actually, it was over an hour. Uh, yeah, I saw you post the apology on our Discord. Yeah, so I was a little unpleased about that. But it is what it is. Uh, I, I, might, I do plan to do it a lot more on there. And it's not just Pokemon, um, if that's what you're looking for. I do do Pokemon, but it's not going to be just Pokemon. Actually, my uh, what I've, I've been doing a lot of My Hero Academia, One's Justice lately. So for anybody who's interested. <laughs> what else you got? Oh, we still got some more Pokemon Master stuff. I know that. Yeah, we do. Um, so Professor Kikui and Lycan Rock are currently um, the spot, the scout spotlight in the store right now. So you have a like a two percent chance to get them, as opposed to the one percent chance to get any other five star character. Well, thank God for that extra percent. Right. <sighs> I only had to restart the game forty times to get Blue when he was <laughs> when he was boosted. <laughs> yeah, I think I was like the third one I got. <laughs> Uh, I, I had like ridiculous luck for that game when I was playing it. Like ridiculous luck. Oh yeah, you did. I remember you showed like this is what I got to start, and you had like all the five stars in the game at the time. Yeah, and you were like, <laughs> you you were like cussing me up and down. <laughs> right. Okay. Um. But there's there's also another announcement about what we're getting next in Pokemon Masters. Well, right. what we can speculate on what we're getting next, given the material that they gave us, because Pokemon. Not just the subsidiaries, but Pokemon itself and its subsidiaries. I'd like to try to pretend like they're going to hint at something and have you have this deep meaning and try to figure it out. But usually it's just very blunt and you look at it and you go, oh yeah, that's what that means. So in this particular case, we have a new image advertising for Pokemon Masters that there's a new trainer coming. And this is going to be a trainer that's just given to you, so you won't have to do an event to unlock it or anything. But I, I'm looking right at the logo. Um, for those of you that watch our live stream, if that's not Professor Oak, I'll eat this hat. <laughs> well, Professor Oak is in the logo. That doesn't necessarily mean that he is going to, you know. Yeah, but come on. <laughs> Pokemon's never <laughs> subtle about this kind of stuff. It's going right. to be Professor Oak. Calling it now. It'll be Professor Oak. I imagine. I would. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but here's a here's a question. Well, on the same day that they add Professor Oak, we should mention real quick that they're also adding Steven Stone. Ooh. Um, with Metagross, but that's you're gonna have to draw it from the. Um, yeah, you got a microtransaction heck out of that one. Right. That's gonna be on the uh, Spotlight Scout. Um, but what Pokemon? If it is Professor Oak, what Pokemon do you think he'll have? Better so be. I've narrowed it down to three things. Okay. Either Tauros, which was like his ace in the unreleased battle where you battle him in uh, Pokemon Red and Blue. Like, you can glitch the game to where you can do that battle, but it wasn't actually meant to... It, you weren't... Well, it, it was originally meant, but they never did... It never right, had, right. have a way to access it in the final release. In the original Pokemon Red and Blue or uh, Red and Green, depending on what, what, what side of the pond you're looking at... Um, the original final battle was against Professor Oak. Right. A lot of people didn't. And and if you have a, a I believe Game Shark came out with a method for you to do there's it. There's a there's a glitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there's also a glitch you can do it somehow. And it, it the the glitches for that kind of stuff. Those people are weaponized autism because there is no no earthly way that anybody should have been able to figure that out. But they did. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they, those guys should be working for the NSA. But uh, the, there is ways you can do it just by moving around the screen in particular. Um, it, it, like, m- you have to have it down to the step, to the pixel. It's ridiculous. 
uh, I recommend just getting a Game Shark or getting an emulator with it already unlocked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, in that his ace in the hole in that battle was Tauros, so that'd be a definitely in the contender. And they do like to harken back to that kind of stuff. Right. Now he might have a. Uh, I think he might have a Bulbasaur or a Venusaur. Or a uh, Nidorino. And so the reason I think he might have Bulbasaur is because we have red and blue in the game. Red is confirmed to have Charizard, and blue has a different costume. We have, It hasn't been released yet, but he's a different costume where he's wearing blue clothes, and it looks like it would match a Blastoise, which meant in the canonical universe that they came from, red got Charizard, blue got Blastoise, and Professor Oak was left with a, with a Bulbasaur. The Bulbasaur that nobody wanted. Right. So that that's where that theory comes from. And then I'm thinking Nidorino because in the um, opening for the game, you see a Nidorino battling a Gengar. And that is theorized to be Professor Oak's battle against Agatha when they were both rivals growing up. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, I would probably, if I had it my way, I'd probably go with the Nidorino. Just because everybody has, that's played the original game has seen the Nidorino, not everyone has seen the Tauros. Right. That's right. that's why I'd go that way if I if it was me. I mean, that is just a theory, so it's not confirmed or anything like that. A game. Th- Never mind. No. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't finish it. Didn't finish it. <laughs> oh yeah. So that uh, pretty much wraps up Pokemon Masters, I believe. Yeah, and that was uh, that was it. That was it. That's it for yep. this week in Pokemon. That's it. It's better than last week. <laughs> yeah, last oh, week there was a whole lot of nothing. The the Pokemon Home information dropped on Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> I'm reading a three page news article right now on Tuesday. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's just what I had to do. All week between Monday and Monday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. So uh, for everyone that plays uh, VGC, uh, whether you've done it before or you're looking to get into it or you're just starting out, uh, we have a deal for you. Uh, this weekend, uh, Saturday at, what did I say, 2 p.m. or 3 p.m.? I forgot. I don't have the advertisement Two. for me. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for those our friends on the East Coast. Uh, you can compete with us in a Pokemon VGC tournament. Uh, it'll be the exact same rules that you have if you were to go to your local game store and compete uh, in a VGC event. Uh, with the one exception is we will allow uh, rental teams. And we will play in Swiss rounds just like any other live event. Uh, we're not going to be doing the online competition uh, because I don't like the way it, it does it. You just do random battles over and over again. I don't like it. Uh, so we're going to do it just like you would. So this for those looking to get into the VGC or, or that are already familiar with the VGC, uh, this is going to be a great way for you to get some practice in or learn, whichever is appropriate for you. Uh, all you have to do is be on our Discord. And uh, there's a channel in there. It's like Mount Moon Events. And you just say, hey, I want to play. Boom, you're in. That's it. Uh, you have to be there about 15 minutes early uh, on Saturday so we can get you registered just like you would in an you know, in IRL event. And uh, one of us is going to be the professor, probably me, uh, and because Ducks probably been, have a better chance at playing than I am. <laughs> and um, this is going to be something we do on a regular basis. We already have had a, a handful of events. Uh, we're going to start doing more of them. Uh, there was going to start being prize support going forward if it picks up enough steam. And I am pleased to announce that we are once again going to be um, participating with Extra Life. Uh, we got our packet and everything today. We are signed up again. Uh, you can join our team if you want. Just let me know and uh, we can get you signed up for that. Uh, the Mount Moon crew uh, is going to, we set up a new goal this year where we're going to shoot for $1,000. And some of these events might be done strictly for charity. Some of them might be done for uh, prizes and those will be announced as we go forward. Uh, in the comment section of this video, you will find, uh, after the live taping, a link to our Discord. 
So please jump in there if you want to play, and uh, let's try to have a good Saturday. Yeah, I'm t- totally. Good luck, everyone. Absolutely. So that being said, do you have anything else for us, Doug? Nope. Okay. Well, make sure you check us oh, on social media. Uh, you can get Duck on Twitch and Twitter at Blue Duck Gold Duck. That's Blue Duck Gold Duck without the E. You can see me on Twitch and Twitter at the underscore Raspberry Zero One. You can hit us up on Facebook at Mount Moon Podcast, as well as our Discord. And if you're watching the live version, uh, there is a uh, text on the screen for that. But other than that, Duck get us out of here all right everybody until next time just remember if it's too good to be blue it's probably gold have a week just because your card is magic you think you're sick because you killed my life or baby do you dare to not flinch because i'm coming at you like a dark horse i know you're gonna throw gonna throw you're gonna throw Critical hits.